Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kirsty Shaw, YouTube channel, podcast board, but built for theme parties. And welcome to a theme party news update from Vina Prata. Now, make sure you go check out all of the content over the last few days. Uh, we uploaded a reaction video to a very funny Blackpool Pleasure Beach remix video that someone made. So, that was a lot of fun to film. I'm not going to lie, I had tons of laughter filming that. Uh, we've got other updates coming soon from the likes of Energylandia, more Alton Towers stuff coming up. So, very exciting stuff. Tornado Springs, we posted an update on there a couple of days ago, so make sure you go check that out. But today, it's all about Vina Prata, and via some images uh, spotted online on forums and also other news sites as well, we were able to spot Coaster Trap being delivered to the park. Now, we didn't know exactly what the coaster was, however, about an hour or two later, we got the news and sort of overlooking that it would be a Gerslab bobsled coaster. Now before we get started in this video, please like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video, please share the channel with your friends, your family, on social media, please share this channel around because the more likes and the more subs, the more we reach out to more audiences, so more people can like this channel. And um, make sure you keep getting your questions in as well, use the hashtag question before or after your question for the, for the next Q&A video. To celebrate 1, 000, uh, 2,000 subscribers. Let's say 1,000, god time flies. And let's get into the details surrounding this video. So, like I said already, Wiener Prater in Austria is set to receive this brand new coaster, set to open in 2020. But if the Austria part doesn't reopen at 2020 or during the main season of 2020, I'm thinking this will reopen in 2021. So, but at the minute it's 2020. But, from the looks of the track, we've got official news from the Rollercoaster really database that it's set to be a Gerslau bobsled coaster. Now, specifically, this is set to be the 390-4 model. Uh, now, there are two existing models. Uh, they're not currently on your screen. Uh, they are just uh, other examples of bobsled coasters. But the other two of that model, uh, rumoured model, set to be uh, involved in the coaster, uh, is... Um, Tasmania Lofagen's uh, coaster, Gold Russia, and of course, Green Hornet High Speed Chase, which is at Motion Gate in Dubai. Uh, now, Gold Russia and Green Hornet are the same model, or are set to be the same model as this coaster coming to Vida Prata. Now, in terms of the location, this is actually a spot abandoned for many, many years. Now, they built something, a tower like structure, but it was never finished, according to a forum report, was never really finished. And after a few years, they finally removed it. And the flat ride in the current site was there after that for just one season. Uh, so this is set to replace uh, maybe a couple of little rides around it as well. But mainly, it's the flat ride that was there for just one season after the tower structure that was unfinished was re finally removed by the park. So, as you, see, as you saw on your screen, the bobsled coasters, the different types of bobsled coasters around the world, a uh, few examples in there. One of the most recent examples, of course, Tiki Waka, uh, which is at Walby, Belgium. So, you know, previous examples have suggested, and from reviews from what I've seen from bobsled coasters, I think this is a good move from the park. I think Vina Prata have got a good, good coaster going. I think that a bobsled coaster uh, feels like a modern day wild mouse with the sharp turns. Uh, the blended turns where it's very uh, steep but very wide instead of like a sharp wild mouse coaster type turn. So you've got a range of sharp wild mouse coaster turns. And I think from one of the track delivery photos, I could definitely see a turn that looks very, very sharp, like a wild mouse coaster turn. So I think we, even though we haven't got the predicted layout, if it is going to be the 390 slash 4 model, uh, we can definitely, hopefully, fingers crossed in the near future, get some kind of confirmation from Vina Prata. Um, about these, um, co about this coaster track coming on site. Obviously, we already know they're going to be adding a rollerball coaster by Ride Engineer Switzerland in 2020. We know that's been going up. We know that that construction has really picked up the pace, and the coaster's actually finished construction now. So we know that that's up ready to operate when the park resumes opening. So I think in terms of the construction process with this particular bobsled coaster, I don't. I think we're looking at the, exactly the same story here. I think it will not be long before we see track construction go vertical, construction itself go vertical. Uh, so I think Vida Prata are going to be really, really fast-paced in their construction process to getting this ready for when the park reopens for the 2020 season after the coronavirus pandemic calms down. Uh, and I do believe that 
end of June, start of July is when we're going to see the end of this pandemic. And I know social distancing measures will be in place for at least another year or two afterwards. But I do believe that once those parks reopen, they're going to be one of the busiest places on earth. They're going to be... Um, obviously they've got to stick to the distancing measures and stuff like that but I still believe that people will flock to those parks uh, keeping to the measures and just having a good day out because of course we've been in lockdown for weeks now so they'll want to explore the outside world now it's you know we're not entitled to stay in homes and stuff like that so you know with the distancing measures being put in place in Shanghai and of course over in Asia, in China, Japan, in their parks, uh, I, I, I feel like the parks in the UK and Europe will do the same. They'll put in these uh, distancing measures in the queue line, in the coaster rows, and I think this coaster is no different. I think because usually with a bobsled coaster, it's one car, so it's not like a train of a few cars, it's like a one car thing. Uh, so I think they may do like one person per uh, not really not one person per car. That's too extreme, but like one person per row. Um, so usually with a bobsled coaster, you've got four rows. You've got two across, and you've got another two across behind. So you're gonna have one person at the front row and one person at the back row. So I think it's gonna be two people maximum per car with the social distancing measures. But I think in the near future, you know, after a couple of years has passed. They're going to change that and they're going to put in the three and maximum four capacity per car as well. So I think that this coaster is a good fit. I think they're going to put in the measures needed uh, for now uh, to keep the coaster running when the park reopens. And like I said about construction, I think the construction for this is going to be fast paced, just like the rollerball coaster. It's going to really pick up the pace and I think that they're going to really construct this as quick as they can. But of course, as efficiently as they can. Um, and I think the Bobsled Coaster, like I said, it's a good fit for the park. It's a good family thrill fit for the park. And I feel like with past Bobsled Coasters, uh, with the likes of Tiki Waka, Van Helsing's Factory at Movie Park Germany, that's a good Bobsled Coaster from the reviews I saw of that. So I think that they've really picked a good popular option. And, it's, and like I said, it's a good popular family thrill coaster for the park. So... It, it, it looks to be permanent. It doesn't look like to be a travelling one. We know the stuff with Olympia Looping and how that travels for a few months up to a year and then gets moved uh, usually down to Hyde Park Winter Wonderland over in London for Christmas, for the Winter Wonderland Christmas event uh, for the last couple of years now. Uh, so I do believe that this will be a permanent coaster edition and not a travelling one after every year. So I do believe that this will be a permanent fit for the park. But hopefully that means Vida Prata will be on the rise even more now and they're going to add so many new attractions in the future. So there we go. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from Vina Prata in Austria on their new bobsled coaster for 2020. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Coaster Shell YouTube channel. Keep living the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome day.